Good. Come all the way down to your mat. Elbows high. I love first Friday. The we beast. go. We love that. That is so fun. The free food. We love feeling high class. I like the music, the music because when you're in the galleries and the music's playing, you can talk bad or good or funny about the art and no one else hears you except the person you're with. So. A lot of the programs like, like Be Seen that we do on the first Friday are really geared towards a younger audience and provide people with um, that first visit. Uh, still even a year and a half after we've opened, there are people who um, come to that who've never been to the museum before and they see it as an opportunity where they can come and socialize and, and not feel intimidated by the museum experience. So I think we've done a lot of programs like that that really open up uh, the museum experience for people. Um, my name is Brian Wisenhunt and I'm the manager of public programs here at the Blanton Museum of Art. When the museum was in the process of opening in 2006, the year before, we went through an extensive branding process and worked with um, several different people in Austin and figuring out what the museum was going to be about. We created a brand promise, which is extraordinary experiences connecting art and ideas. So it's like if you're interested in cooking and you find out we're doing a cooking class, then you come, but we take you from the cooking class into the galleries and give you a connection to the collection that way. So we're not just doing lectures about art history or art appreciation. Um, we're doing things that perhaps are outside of your uh, general museum experience that approach the collection from people's other areas of interest, whether that's music uh, or cooking, um, yoga, things like that. You're not supposed to talk in a museum. Here we are, oming in a museum. It's 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 really great to take yoga out of context. And so take the people out of the context. You know, sometimes I say, you know, while you're here, you can look at some art because <laughs> it's kind of you know, it's just a way to hopefully get people in the museum who either haven't done yoga before or have never been to a museum before. My name is Olivia Silver. I teach yoga outside the Blanton. Um, I also work at the Blanton, so um, that helps make me feel nice and comfortable here. <laughs> The biggest surprise has been the different types of people who have shown up. I mean, I thought it was all going to be students or it was all going to be faculty. I didn't know. I had a very wishy-washy, but it has just been everyone. Just run the gamut. Whoever you think. What is the artist's fullest expression? What are they trying to communicate to us, the audience? So while you practice tonight, I'd like you to set um, it's funny because some people will come up and say, I love it when you talk about the art, when you bring the art into it. And I always try and do it. I always say something about the art at the beginning and try and weave that into the class because if you're going to do yoga in some place other than a yoga studio, you kind of have to find ways that it's um, multidisciplinary so that everyone can find it for themselves, find it useful in their life. Of the legs. Um, well, yoga in the galleries, yeah, that's definitely something I don't think I'd heard of very much before this. So, I'm Katie Klein. I'm a senior marketing major here at UT. I am the docent chair for the Blanton Student Guild. Um, I think one of the biggest differences is, I mean, it's really different in terms of collection and the purpose of its collection. It's a, I mean, it's a university museum, it's a teaching museum. I think I've just, I mean, I've seen a lot of museum stuff, and so I, I kind of had an idea of the different stuff that could be out there. Um, though I think the Blanton's done a lot more than other museums, especially older institutions, as far as like bringing in the younger crowd. I know that's a major challenge for museums these days, and they've really, you know, put together a lot of activities that I'm really that. taking into account the spirit of Austin and this creatively think about how we are presenting our collection, um, how we're interpreting our collection and our audio guide and the programs that we do. The, my experience here at the Blanton is different because we've given ourselves a lot of latitude and really not said, but not really telling our, not telling ourselves no, doing, giving ourselves a lot of room to think and to interpret this collection in a variety of ways. She can't look at me, let her see something wondrous. I think there's definitely a lot of people who don't think about um, museums. And I think uh, 
The Blaytons done a lot to increase awareness on campus. I think they could do a lot more because they do have a lot of, I mean, a lot of things going on that, that are big strengths um, you know, for people on campus. They really try and be accessible and I think they actually do achieve that. Um, so now it's just kind of making sure everyone knows about it, <laughs> which is always a challenge.